Hello Virgo and welcome to your uh, weekly reading. This is for August 15th through the 21st, 2021. Welcome to my channel, Force for the Trees. I appreciate you all being here. And if you're new here, welcome. Um, if you're returning here, welcome. Um, all my people that have liked, shared, and subscribed, everything, I appreciate you all so much. I appreciate everybody. Um, y'all just, just a great, great, great group here. I, I love the comments. I love, you know, corresponding with everybody. If there's any information you all need, it is in the description below. If you'd like to know the decks I use, if you'd like a personal private reading with me, my email's there. If there's a comment you'd like to share or, or not share, but you just like to kind of in private, if there's a question or something that you don't want to publicly do, then you can email me. All right, Virgo. But again, I appreciate you all being here. I appreciate your time, your energy, you know, your focus, your, um, I appreciate all you do. All right. Let us see what we have. I'm a little whimsical this week. I have a fun deck. I just thought, you know, everything's getting really heavy back in the world again, and I'm just trying to lighten things up a little bit, but yet still deliver a message, not ever making fun of anything. All right, Virgo. Here we go, All right? This is Virgo. Oops, there's one right there. Oh, beautiful Nine of Pentacles energy. Abundance, great abundance. Page of Pentacles. Money, money, money. Virgo. You know, that's you, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It is you, that grounding earth energy of new money coming in. And the Fool. Starting off on a new journey. Bottom of the deck. We have, yes and you are. Look at that. You have the Three of Wands. You are definitely um, made your mind up. As to where you're going now. This is your subconscious. This is something you might not be aware of. But this card is saying that you've already made your mind up. You know what direction you want to go. You know you've made your decision. And you're moving forward. So. Just so you know. So we have this beautiful. Beautiful energy of the page of pentacles. And this is abundance. It's great abundance. It's it's money. Obviously your grounding earth energy. Um. Again, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, so it is It is you. But we have, you know, it's your wealth, all your material possessions. Uh, it could be the, anything in the physical world. Your ma material gain, how you make money, what you spend your money on. And this just shows that you have worked very hard to get where you got. Um, nobody... I mean, I can't say nobody helped you, but, but what you have, you've really worked for and worked hard for, you know, the value of money. I love how the pentacles around her neck, <laughs> you know, the value of money. Um, you know, again, how you got there, you know, how to handle money, how, how it, and it's like now, now that you're here, you can kind of start maybe doing something that is for you doing something that you've maybe been putting off because you've been working or that you haven't had enough money. And now that you do, you can kind of spoil yourself a little bit. You can kind of splurge and we have the page of pentacles. So this tells me that, you know, you could be investing money in a new endeavor to make more money. This could be a new project, a new way to make money. You could be hearing some information about maybe where you have money invested or maybe who's good to invest money with or something like that. But there's new money coming in. <clears throat> it's not this money. It's a new money. It's an either a new way to make money or it's a new um, take on the money that you're making. Like your money will make more money, right? Something like that. Um, but you're going to hear something about it or you're going to start to to put it in, you know, I don't know. Maybe you're going to play, start playing the stock market. I don't know. I don't know that much about the stock market. But you could be having your money make money for you, right? You're in, you have the full card. So this is listening to yourself. It's listening to your instincts and going off on your own 
way, going off your going off to in your own direction, right? Because you made your mind your mind up. You made your mind up and you're going. You know where you're gonna go. There's growth here, beautiful growth, passion. It's something you're passionate about. You could be starting a, a new business. You could be starting an online store. You could be starting um, a brick and mortar place. It's something you're passionate about because of the wands. You know, this is um, Aries Leo or Sagittarius energy. It's passion. It could be taking you travel. You know, you could travel. You could go overseas. Um, but it's like, this is the time you're doing it. You're doing it. It's like, I'm just, I'm just going to do it. Um, you're not looking for guidance from anybody. You're just going to do it. it. It's like, uh, it's beautiful energy, beautiful energy. I wish everybody would be like that. Sure. You know, and it's not that you're cocky. Sure. It's not that you, you're like, Oh, I've, I've done all this. I, I know, you know, it's not that type of energy, but it is an energy of, um, again, with the full energy. It can be a little foolhardy. Uh, people can think, oh my gosh, what were you thinking? Or what are you thinking? Or, you know, it, it's like if you're a school teacher all your life and now you're going to become a pilot, you know, it might not make sense to a lot of people, but to you it does. And again, your mind's already made up and it's like, you don't need approval from other people. You know, those that are close to you understand those that are close to you understand. Wow. Virgo, you're going to have to let me know what this energy is. It's wonderful. What is that? Hmm. Well, I guess it's his cheek. I thought he was, I thought he was either sweating or crying right there. But I guess it's his cheek. Cute card. That is just such a cute. I love it. And it's not, to me, the full energy is not an energy of foolishness. It can be in certain circumstances, definitely. But it is a card of listening to yourself. Of, you know, being, being, um, exactly, confidence. Confidence. Look at her wink. I love it. Confidence. Exactly. This is self-confidence opens you to the energy required to carry you through each day at your very best. And that's the kicker at your very best, what you want. Confidence. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. You have the confidence to move ahead. You have the confidence to, you know, live the life you you're meant to live. You have the confidence to, um, move forward you have the confidence to be you and you have the financial stability the financial means the financial you know again if you invest money in it if you if your money's going to make money or whatever if you're starting a new endeavor but you have the confidence to start it you you have the Again, you're listening. You're not listening to others. You're listening to you. And you, again, have already made your mind up to move forward. You know where you're going. You know, out of all your choices, you've picked and you're moving forward. To growth. To something you're passionate about. And again, the pinnacle energy is grounding earth energy, right? It is that stability. So what you're moving to is not only what you're passionate about, but it's stable. It's going to be stable energy coming in. It's stableness. Love it. I love it. I just love, I love that card. I love her wink. Love it, love it. All right, Virgo. 
good luck to you. I'm trying to see if there's anything else I'm getting out of this. I'm pretty much exhausted, I think, what I had to say. Know that um, it's going to be a very interesting week, to say the least. I know all this. I mean, this didn't just happen this week, you know. Now, if you're older and you retired, something like that, that could have happened this week or that could happen this week. But it's it's what you've been working on. It's getting things into place. And you've been working very hard at it. And you got there by your hard work and your tenacity. And now you're ready to start something new and move forward. So good luck to you. I would love to hear what it is, Virgo. A lot of creation coming in. A lot of creative energy coming in this week for a lot of readings. Um, again, you can check your moon and rising signs if you like more information. Um, it's in the description below. It's on astro.com. Um, um, date of birth, time of birth, place of birth. It'll pull up your natal chart and give you, you know, your moon and rising signs. You can get a lot more information about yourself. It's free, user friendly. I don't, I'm not affiliated with it. It's something I use myself because I, I don't know that much about astrology. Um, but beautiful energies and good luck to you. Good luck to you this week, Virgo. Please let me know how this resonates and if it resonates and what you're moving towards. Let me know what you're moving towards. It's beautiful energy. Good luck to you. I thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful, blessed week. Please stay safe and healthy. Bye for now.